Hello everyone, this video is about crypto arithmetic problems and these problems, these types of problems are asked in Infosys and Lee Litmus examinations. So we will be discussing some of the problems from the easier level to the tougher level and uh, with solution rules and tricks so that it would be easier for you to solve. So let's see what are the rules. The first rule of the crypto arithmetic problem is each alphabet would have value between 0 to 9 that is the value should range between 0 to 9 it can be either 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so between 0 to 9 the value should be there the second rule is they should have different values suppose if a is assigned 0 if we have assigned 0 to a so b it cannot have 0 b has to be any other number other than 0 okay so that is the second rule and the third rule which would help whenever you solve a problem is suppose you are adding two identical alphabets that is suppose you are adding S with S or you are adding A with A like this two identical alphabets then the sum would be an even number sum would be an even number let's see how if I add 1 plus 1 I will get 2 if I add um, 12 plus 2 that is 2 and 2 is there no so these two things are same so I will get 4 if I add 3 plus 3 I will get 6 so when, whether we add two odd numbers or add two even numbers the sum the unit place of the sum would get a even number 12 plus 2 is 14 so unit place it would, would get a even number so this is the third rule and the fourth rule is suppose uh, you are adding a and b and in the result you are getting a okay so whenever this is the scenario the value of b can be 0 that is we can say suppose we have 2 plus 0 is equal to 2 so it is it can be there okay also or the second scenario is 2 plus 10 it would be equal to 12 so what can be the value of b b can be a 9 when if a carry is there B can be a 0 if there is no carry when carry is equal to 0 when carry is equal to 1 then B can be 9 let's see how we have 2 plus 9 2 plus 9 is what it is 11 but we have a carry over here so it would be 12 so the possible values of B whenever we have A plus B is equal to A the possible values of B can be either 0 or 9 9 if we have a carry 0 if we don't have a carry so these are the some basic rules by using these only you can solve almost all the addition crypto arithmetic problems so let move on to the first problem I hope it would be a easier one it's 2 plus go is equal to out and we have to find the value of O plus U plus T so whenever we have a question we'll just copy it from the system that is 2 plus go and it is equal to O U T out okay by seeing this only so okay one more rule is there whenever you have two two digits number suppose we have uh, 21 and 91 okay we have suppose two two digit number whenever we add a two digit number two two digits number and our result is a three digit number okay we are adding two two digits number the result is a three digit number so the most significant digit would always be one so in this case we are adding T O and G O these are two digits numbers and the output is a three digit number so O would be one so from by seeing itself only you can figure out that O is one so we'll substitute O as one that is T one G one it is one U and now the value of T is one plus one is two so value of T is two so we have another value that is T is equal to two okay now let's see t is equal to 2 so I'll substitute 2 over here also t is equal to 2 now in this question in this question if you see what we can see is t plus g is equal to u here also what we can see 9 plus 2 is equal to 1 we cannot write it as 1 it is actually 1 plus 10 9 plus 2 is 1 plus 10 that is 11 so similarly we can write it like this t plus g is equal to u plus 10 like this you can write we know the value of t value of t is 2 okay 2 plus g is equal to u plus 10 is our answer okay so now what what we have to do is we have to write uh, we have to add t and g in such a way that the sum is greater than 10 we can write it like this the sum should be greater than 10 okay so, uh, it should be it should exceed 10 so like this you can you have to put the value of uh, g and u okay now t we already have 2 what 
else the value of uh, uh, g can make it more greater than 10 or equal to 10 it is plus 8 2 plus 8 it would be equal to 10 so this scenario is also good and next scenario is 2 plus 9 it would be equal to 11 so we have we can consider these two scenarios now let's see which one fits our question now suppose I I take t is equal to 2 we know g is equal to 8 and u is equal to 0 that is this first significant first oh sorry the least significant bit okay this bit is 0 sorry this bit is o this bit is o we know that okay this is o so o is 1 we already know that we know that we are want to know the value of u okay now see the two possible values of u is 0 and 1 now 1 has already been assigned to o so 1 cannot be possible so the possible value of u is 0 so here u would become 0 for u to become 0 g should be what 8 so we know g is equal to 8 and u is equal to 0 and now in the question what we have to find we have to find the value of o plus u plus t where o is 1 u is 0 and t is 2 so total the value is 3 so in your uh, options 3 would be one of the choices so next move on to the next question this is one of the easiest question this was also there in emphasis so this type of question would be there would also be there easy one would also be there tougher one would also be there so next move on to the next s plus this is here so uh, we have to find the value of this expression so we have to find the value of all these alphabets and we will sub just substitute it in the question so let's see how so in this we have this okay plus is and it is equal to what here h e r e this plus is is here okay now one more thing see here we have two s and s are two similar numbers so the e the value of e can be either 0 2 4 6 or 8 okay now here also i and i are similar but suppose um, suppose it, there is a carry so r can be even or odd it, anything can be there if there is a carry r would be a odd number if there is not a carry r would be an even number so this we can say for e we can predict so what we have to do we have to start with the left hand side okay see from this uh, we are adding a four digit number with a two digit number and we are getting a four digit number that means the one thing which we know is we are adding something to t and it is giving so see one more thing so we can write t plus 1 is equal to h okay there must be some carry over here that why h is here else if there is no carry this alphabet would have been t only okay now let's move on to h okay see similarly when whenever we are adding a higher number suppose see in this case we are adding i and i and it is r and there must be a carry over here that's why this h has changed to e okay else this would be same only that's why this h has changed to e else this would be the same if this would be h only okay okay so there is a, there is a carry that's why this has been changed to h okay if something added to something added to which number would give a carry if we add 1 to 8 would it give a carry no but if you add 1 to 7 would it give a carry no if we add 1 to 9 it would give a carry okay so if we add 1 to 9 that is 1 h should be 9 that's why it is giving a carry so h should be 9 so in from this we configure that h is 9 okay we know h is equal to 9 okay now h plus 1 is 10 so e would be 0 and 1 and what we know h is 9 h is 9 from this we know h is 9 ok now what plus 1 would be 9 8 so t is 8 so from this what we have we have 8 9 i s i s and here we have 9 0 r e this is what till now we have ok and we, we have 8 uh, h is equal to 9 t is equal to 8 and e is equal to 0 till now these numbers we have so e is 0 so we have e is 0 
so we don't want this okay for e to be 0 what values of s can make e as 0 if it is 5 then only 5 plus 5 is 10 this has to be same numbers so s is equal to 5 so we have s is equal to 5 that makes them because s cannot be 0 0 plus 0 is 0 or 5 plus 5 is 10 0 but this cannot be 0 because e is already 0 so s has to be 5 so it is 10 and 1 carry i plus i plus 1 carry if only i plus i was there then r has to be a even number but we have a 1 over here so r has to be a odd number okay so odd number greater than 10 because 1 carry is there no after adding 1 i and i we should get a number which is odd and it is greater than 10 so for having a number greater than 10 this has to be same okay if we add 7 and 7 it would be 4 and 14 plus 1 is 15 so r would become 5 5 is already assigned to s so we cannot take 7 we cannot put 8 for this because 8 is already t okay so we can put 6 6 is not occupied so i would be 6 6 plus 6 is 12 12 plus 1 is 13 so r would be 3 so these are the answers we have h is equal r is equal to 3 and s is equal to 5 and i is equal to 6 we have to just substitute these values over 5 so the answer would be 157 157 would be the answer and we should be okay in this question we have your plus u is equal to heart okay just by seeing we can see that h is equal to 1 and y is equal to 9 let's see how because it is a four digit number this is a three digit number uh, y there would be some carry to y that's why this y has changed to e so what number should be added to y so that we get a carry or add it to 1 to stretch that will we get a carry so y has to be 9 if y is 9 then only you would get a carry that is uh, after adding a carry you will get 10 so maximum number is 9 so now question y is equal to 9 so we have put y is equal to 9 ok 9 plus 1 would be 10 so e would be equal to 0 so 1 carry h would be equal to 1 so we have e is equal to 0 and h is equal to 1 so we will substitute all these y is 9 and e is equal to 0 and uh, h is 1 and in our question itself it is given o is equal to 4 so wherever we have o we will substitute with 4 so what we have we would have uh, 1 4 uh, u r 9 4 u and here we have 1 0 a r and t ok 1 0 a r and t okay so next start we will start from the left hand side it, this is all we have done okay now what we have it is uh, same 9 plus 4 is 13 so it would it is for a so i'll write it once again it is 1 4 u r 90 see here it is 9 plus 4 is it is 13 so a should be equal to 3 okay 9 plus 4 is 13 and a should be equal to okay if the carry is 1 then 9 plus 1 is 10 plus 4 is 14 a should be equal to 4 but 4 is already occupied by o so carry cannot be 1 so carry would be 0 only it would be 3 so now we would know that u plus 4 is equal to r because there is no carry over there so u plus 4 would be equal to r or you can say u plus 4 would be uh, any number which would be less than 10 okay it can be 9 also it can be any number which is equal to 10 so we can say that u is less than 10 minus 4 that u should be any number which is less than 6 so a number less than 6 so let's try uh, some numbers for you so what we can put so that you can get the answer any number between this okay but, but now it cannot be 4 because 4 is already occupied okay by o it cannot be 3 because 3 is already occupied by a okay it cannot be 1 because 1 is already occupied by h h is already 1 so we have two options that is 5 and 2 so let's take for the first chance let's take u is equal to 2 you can try it use uh, after that you can try it with 5 also so if we put u is equal to 2 so if i put u is equal to 2 over here that is u is equal to 2 over here and u is equal to 2 over here so that is 4 plus 2 so uh, first chance I am guessing that there is no um, carry so what I will do it it would be 4 plus 2 6 
Okay, so R is six. So I'll put six over here. Six plus two is eight. If there is any uh, clash, that is R is equal to six. So there is no clash. U is equal to two and T is equal to eight. There is no clash. So this is right. You can try it by putting five also. There would be some problems. Suppose I put U is equal to five over here. So five plus four would be nine. Okay, so nine is already occupied. Even if there is a carry, it would be a zero. So zero is also already occupied. So two is the correct option. Like this, you can check. So these are your values. You can just substitute your values for y, uh, u, r, and e, and you can just sum it up. So this would be your answer for this. Let's move to the next question. The next question is u s s r plus u s a, and it is equal to p. So I'll write e c a e p. Okay. But just seeing the question, you can tell the value of p. P would be equal to one. U would be equal to nine, and e would be equal to zero. Okay, we have nine s s r. We have nine s a, and uh, here we have p is one, e is zero, and we have a. Sorry, p is one, e is zero, and we have a. And C and E, so this is E is also we know E is also zero. Okay, E is also zero. Now C for for getting zero, A and R cannot be five because A and R has to be two different numbers. Five plus five is ten. Okay, it is zero, but these cannot be five. So A and R they cannot be five. So what are the possible combinations of A and R? Means those numbers uh, by adding which we will get ten. Uh, So what are the numbers left? We are left with two, three, four, and uh, uh, by adding eight to two, we'll get a value. By adding three to seven, we'll get a value. By adding six to four, we'll get a value. So we'll substitute. Just substitute these values for these, and we'll uh, say, see whether they work or not. Okay. Now let's see uh, the values. Suppose we are uh, first value. We can get it as two and eight. The combination of two and eight, uh, whether it it works or not. So I'll put R as eight and A as two. So we'll get ten and one is the carry. Sorry. And one is the carry over here. Okay. Now see what we have. We have S and S. Okay. Two numbers, identical numbers added would give an even number, but one is the carry. So C has to be any odd number. Okay. Uh, C has to be any odd number so that okay C has to be any odd number so what are the odd number left C can be either C C has to be any odd number okay so now one and one is there so now let's take S to be any value or uh, any of these values these occupied values so if if I take S S Except two and eight. If I take S as four, four plus four is eight plus one. It is nine. So C cannot be nine because nine is already occupied. Let's check for three. Uh, three plus three is six. Six plus one is seven. Seven is not occupied. So I can put S as three for for now. So S is three. So C would be seven. Okay, like this it is done. So S is three. Okay, nine plus three it is twelve. So two has not been occupied. Okay, A is two. It has come correct. Okay, so our first attempt is right only. So it is nine, uh, three, three, eight, and we have nine, three, two, and here we have one zero two seven zero. So this is our answer for this question.